Hello and welcome back to the tutorial series on the Tysel High School National Honor Society Club Management System. In this video we're going to set up these systems for collecting initial information so that people can just fill out an online form, it'll go to a spreadsheet and then we can import that into Google Contacts so that we can email people or message them or share the contact list to other members that are doing service projects all those things so that they can use that contact information. So we'll begin by just showing you what it would look like in like Google Docs. We have a master members list collection and this spreadsheet will be collecting data as people fill out the information. We'll have a deadline by the time it needs to be filled out and then that data will be downloaded to what's called a CSV. It's a kind of contact spreadsheet form and we'll then import that into Gmail contacts. So one thing to note is that yes you have to use these specific names. That Those are the name, the column names that I worked out so that they didn't sound weird but still were able to be imported into um, the contacts such as mobile phone instead of cell phone. It doesn't recognize cell phone which is kind of a pain in the butt. So we'll begin by just going to our t National Honor Society page and Gmail account and we'll go to documents. Let that load up and just kind of hide this bookmark tab thing because that gets in the way a bit. Okay. So we'll go down to our 2011 to 2012 collection and you see I have attendance and meeting notes here. I haven't made the forms yet. But we're going to go ahead and create a new spreadsheet. And we're just going to name it, what did I name the other one? Master Members. Master Members List Collection 2011 to 2012. And I'll make another video on how to create templates later. But for now, we're just going to see how to create the um, spreadsheet and then do it. Because the templates later on, when next administrations are using it, it would be nice for them to have the templates so they can just say, base it off this. And not have to type out things like name, email address, and things like that. So we're just going to begin by having name and then email address. And you have to type it exactly like this. Or else... Gmail or the contacts might not recognize it so I know it's kind of a pain but this is I went through many trials trying to get this worked out nicely and you can actually add what what happens if we have our basic information right here you can add kind of uh, survey questions like we want to know if everybody has a Facebook but you can also do other polling and everything when you do this initial information collection to see how many people have technology available or things like that so we see whether or not we actually need to maintain a written calendar out in the breezeway or something so now that we have all those up and running we now have to create the form so we'll go ahead and make sure it's saved and we're then going to go back over to the math honor society one and we'll see that we have a form tab here. But first, we have to create the form, which involves going to File, New, and I do believe Form. Um, no, we want to do Insert Form, so that way it's linked to this spreadsheet. And this will just go ahead and create a form right here. And we want to edit a couple of these options, such as for name, we want to make that required and well email address that's fine home phone um, is there an option we can use for nope so that's fine um, do you have a Facebook we're gonna make this a menu selection for yes or no so we're going to do not multiple choice but choose from a list and we're just gonna have yes and no And yes, we want to make that a required question because we need that polling data. Okay. 
and now we have that list right there and instead of just having well, let's go ahead and save it and we can go and preview it real quick just exit out of there go to our form and then go to our live form it's kind of uh, bland right now it's just that white form and we just have people fill it out what we want to do is kind of make it a little spiced up so we'll go over to our form and then edit the form and go to themes and these themes allow us to pick various well themes um, we want something that looks professional but oh whoops but it is not kind of tacky so hmm let's see here well nothing really matches it right now yeah maybe just a generic theme Ah, uh, here we are. Here are kind of just a generic, kind of modern looking theme, but not kind of ridiculous like gingerbread men. So let's say uh, we'll go with green. And we see from the sample that that doesn't really match up the text and everything that well. Kind of off. So we'll cancel that theme. And let's just do let's say grayscale at least that has some theming to it so we'll just apply that theme and it says it's saved so we'll just X that out of there and check out our live form so here's the theme of the live form we see we can enter in our data and everything right there so right now I just want to go back to the form real quick and show you what's been done you'll notice that some of the columns have been highlighted these are the when it's kind of turned to slight gray that means those are the ones that are present on the form and then we'll see that there was a timestamp created and this will just show you when that certain person entered their data and sent it to this spreadsheet so we'll go ahead and well let me just fill out a couple people just so we have some examples so we'll go to live form And I'll just fill in like uh, um, George Henry, and he is uh, let's say help at gmail dot com. His home phone number. Uh, we're just gonna what is that? One two three four five six seven. Ten should be yes okay phone numbers are ten digits with an area code okay okay and he's not gonna have a Facebook so we'll click submit and then go back to the forum so we can submit another but first I just want to say okay let's say is there a way to refresh this Let's go ahead and exit out of the spreadsheet and then go back into it. Okay, so we'll see that the information was there. It has the timestamp, phone number, all that information's right there. But how are people going to get to this form? That's the question. There isn't really like a huge sharing option that you can have where you email it, embed the form in a web page, which on our Facebook page would be too large to actually put in there so what we can do is just copy the link to the live form and make an announcement since this is only a temporary form so we can go to the announcements page and let's say click here to edit the page so we're just going to add a really short announcement to this and just to see what it should look like I'm going to go to Let's say I'll go back to the page. I'm just going to show you what it looks like on the Math Honor Society real quick. Okay, so Math Honor Society, we should have an announcements page. 
and here I just put an announcement for the member info so I'm actually just going to copy that text so we'll go back to the announcements page here and edit that page and edit the media box and this will also kind of show you how we're doing announcements so I'll just press it down two lines put the day's date which is August 16th Twenty eleven, and just highlight that and I want to underline it which is right there and underline the next line and paste in my text so I'm going to go ahead and delete that make sure there's nothing left over in the code like all of this <laughs> that we can do just through the simple interface so okay fill out the there we go and here we can put in the NHS member info form and we're going to go ahead and highlight this go to our link button paste the link in there. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I gotta go get the link again real quick. Okay, so link it. Paste our link. Select our target as blank. We want it to open in a new window and not go away from the page because it's going to be an entirely different form. Click OK. So now we have the link there. We're just going to save those changes to the announcements. And let's go test it out real quick. Let's view our page. Our announcements. And we'll see we have August 16th, NHS member info form. And it just goes right to our link. So now that we have it posted there, I'm going to just enter in a couple other random names like Harry Lloyd. Uh, yeah, that's how you spell it. Da 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 at gmail.com. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And he's going to have Facebook. Submit him. And we're then going to do. Um, Ahab Fitzgerald. Yes, yeah, so you can tell I'm very bored. I come up with weird names. And we're just going to da da at Yahoo. Let's try that. Even though nobody uses that nowadays. And he's going to have Facebook. Okay. So now we're just going to go back to our collection form and automatically already put all the people that just entered in. But one problem is that it's out of al alphabetical order. And for the life of me, I can't get the um, Google, Google Docs to actually automatically organize the name column by alphabetical order. So what you can do, though, is click on the column itself and just say sort column B A to Z and that way Ahab Fitzgerald is first then George then Harry which is kind of odd because I can go ahead and put let's say let's say go to life form um, let's just say it did a, it did a, I just want something with an E and we just won't worry about that So, let's see here. You see how it's still out of order? So, you have to then go back in here, right click on it, and say sort again. So, whenever somebody's added, you have to sort it. So, you might as well just collect everybody's information and sort it at the end. It should work fine. And now that we have a couple example people in, I'm going to then make sure this is saved and 
now we're going to transfer it into Google Con excuse me, Google Contacts. So we're going to download as CSV. And I'm just going to go ahead and save that file. And then go over to my Gmail account, go to Contacts. And whoop, there's an example one from Troy. <laughs> Just going to delete him real quick. And now that he's deleted, we can go to the more option, import. And we're going to find that CSV file we just downloaded. So we're going to open that and import. Now what will happen is it will create a collection called imported. And we can see that we can click on the person and it'll automatically have their home phone number there, their mobile phone, their email, everything already there just in case we have to message them. And the other kind of extraneous information that didn't fit into Google's template will be over here in the notes area. So like the timestamp on when they submitted it and the do you have a Facebook option. So those will just be thrown into notes. So let's say I want to put them in the members category because I already have a category for um, officers. We're going to uh, make a new group called members. And nobody's in it right now. But these that I just imported, I'm just going to select. And I do believe it's ah, groups. I'm going to put them in members but take them out from the imported and apply that and then I'm just going to get rid of this album or group so that we don't have that imported one anymore so now we have members um, officers and all contacts and that's pretty much the gist of it we'll have this um, form system is good for any type of data collection if we want to see how many people want to do something or have a vote something along those lines then this is really good for that you just make the spreadsheet link a form to it and then put it out on the Facebook page and you most likely you would have to do the information collection twice a year when new members come in and when we initially start the year so Sadly, you do have to import that every time, like download the form and import it into the contacts. Uh, I might do a tutorial video on how to link the spreadsheet to contacts. The thing with that, though, is we would have to like redo the linking every year when new members come in and the old members go to college or get their jobs somewhere else. So we'll, I most likely will forego that and just say we'll just import the information sheet. So that's the information stuff. I don't know what actually to say now. You know what? I'm just going to say goodbye. <laughs>